<clears throat> Spicy here. I'm sitting in tear stand this morning. And it is rightly cold. It's uh, 29 degrees this morning in South Arkansas. We got a frost all over the place. Take a look at the frost. All right, so here's the situation. <laughs> Deer stepped out. Couldn't get the camera on in time. She was stepping across this lane down here, and it's probably about 10, 15 yards wide. So I had to get my gun, prop up. I, rat, and uh, she stopped, turned around, and uh, I made the shot. Now, we do have blood, so that's a good thing. So now what I have to do is track the deer. I know she ran uh, east because I was listening to her run through the woods. So I'm going to track the deer. I'm not going to bore y'all with that part. I'll let you know what happens. Alright guys. So I found the deer. I am not particularly proud of my shot. I was way low on my shot. Um, and <clears throat> I did hit her low. So uh, like they, they call it a gut shot. I, I wasn't too proud of it, but <clears throat> there she is there. I'm going to go ahead and uh, field dress her, field gutter, and then drag her on out of the woods because she ran, I'd say about 200 yards. I've been tracking her through the woods, but <clears throat> I mean, it was a long shot. I'll let you know how long the shot was when I get back. Uh, to the stand but I'm shooting left-handed with my left hand only with my rifle so um, I mean I did hit her I hate that I hit her low but we have a deer down uh, I need to get her uh, dressed out get to the house get her skint and cleaned up real fast because I'll, you know when you gut shot a deer it's not too good for the meat so I don't want to mess up the meat so I want to get her home and get her cleaned up pretty quick all right, guys, so we are back getting ready to skin the deer out. Now, <clears throat> two things about this hunt that I'm not happy about. Number one, it was a bad shot. It was not a gut shot that I initially thought. I hit her in the front here, and then it come out 
the um, right below, right in the ribs, right behind the heart. Um, so I kind of, I kind of, it went through between the heart and the lungs. It just, it went through there. Um, but I made the shot 170 yards left-handed with a rifle. And then, uh, she's not the biggest deer in the world. I think her and a Great Dane is running about a tight race. And the only thing that I'm upset about is um, I have to waste a, not waste, but I have to use one of my uh, doe tags for this doe. And um, I'd much, way much rather have a big doe. But meat is meat. I'm very thankful that I can put meat in the freezer for my family. Um, again, I just wish that it was a bigger deer. But guys and gals, listen, before you start criticizing and stuff like that, I know it was a bad shot. I know it's a small deer and spicy, what are you doing? Get what are you doing shooting left handed? Well as most as most of you know, I've had surgery on my right hand and wrist. I can't I can't shoot with my right hand and wrist. Um I can't hold the gun. It's it's just too it's too heavy and it hurts my my wrist. But um, and before you start saying, "Well, spicy," um, that's kind of a stupid shot to make. I, I've I've for a while, for a couple of months now, I've been practicing shooting my rifle left-handed. So it wasn't that I couldn't do it. It's just that it was a bad shot. Only thing I can think of is that I hit a limb because I did have to not not knowing when I was in the stand, but when I was walking, I shot right through a little bush, and that wasn't good. I think that's what that's what hurt me. So what I'm doing now to kind of wrap this up is I'm gonna skin her out. Once I get her skinned out, like I said, I did field dress her in the woods. Um, cause I thought I gut shot at her, but I didn't. So I went ahead and field dressed her. So I'm going to get this, the deer skint out. I'm going to get my water hose over here and I'm going to wash her off really, really good. Uh, because I did hit low, I may hit, you know, one of the organs or something like that. I don't want that on my meat and you got to get that off pretty quick. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'll, uh, when I get this done, I'll be right back with y'all. And that is what it's all about. Having meat for my family. That's 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 awesome right there. Guys and gals, <coughs> I'm tired, I'm fat. Uh, it took me about an hour or so to clean that deer. Uh, I'm gonna go in here and get washed up. Hope you've enjoyed my very first hunting video here on my channel. I wish it would have been a big old monster buck, but that's what happens. Uh, again, it wasn't the biggest deer in the world, but it will feed my family. And that's what that that's good enough for me. So next time we need to pay attention of where she's at, how big she is, and concentrate a little bit slower on the shot. I did I did shoot a little quick, but 170 yards left-handed. That's my offhand, by the way. Uh, with my rifle, I hey, you can't go wrong with it. I got meat in the cooler. I'm going to let that ice for about four days and uh, process it myself. So, guys gals, I'm going to get out of here. Thank you all so much for watching. Hey, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up because those things are awesome. Helps my channel out. And I will see you all in the next video. Until then, remember, everybody's got a little backwoods in them. I'll catch you later.